Hey guys, I'm back today to give you a review of my Ruger SR1911 in 45 Auto. I've had this gun for, uh, let's see, it's been about seven years now, seven or eight years now. Um, it, I've had countless numbers, countless thousands of rounds put through this gun with zero malfunctions so far, not a single one. The only thing I've ever had would be a bad primer and a cheap wolf ammunition. But other than that, it has fed, ejected, ate everything I've ever put through it. It's uh, really smooth, clean, crisp gun. The only thing I've really done is a little bit of polishing on the feed ramp there and cleaned up the trigger to where it has a really nice, clean, crisp, short break. See? With a very nice, short reset. I did make some custom grips because, you know, I'm six foot five, 260 pounds. I have ginormous hands. I need something to fill up my hand a little bit more than the, you know, thin grips that come on it from the factory. Um, other than that, this has been probably the nicest 1911 I have ever shot. I've shot Kimbers, I've shot all sorts of them, and this one here, this Ruger, surprisingly has been the nicest one to shoot. It, fiber optic front sight, uh, no adjustable Novak rears, it's just dead on. I was hitting an 8 inch gong today at 50 yards with this thing, repeatedly. It is just so easy to shoot. Such a nice, nice uh, firearm. It, it's my everyday carry, so you see there's a lot of holster wear. You know, and it's been banged around over the years. This thing goes everywhere with me. I don't leave the house without it. Um, it's just, again, one of, those, one of those pistols that I recommend to everybody. I mean, even somebody small. My wife, is five foot three, and she can shoot this thing like it's nothing. It has very light recoil for a 45, just because it's such a heavy gun. Um, if you're looking to pick yourself up one, I highly recommend them. All right, you guys have a good day.